going to be performing for you the Cups and Balls. This is probably the most famous sleight of hand trick of all time. In fact, Harry Houdini himself said that I consider no man a magician unless he can adequately perform the Cups and Balls. Now, as you might imagine, we have three cups. One, two, and three cups. And one very special thing, the magician's magic wand. Now, I said that this is called the Cups and Balls. So now we have the cups. Uh, now we need the balls. Just give the wand a little rub in the ball, right there at the end of the wand. That's for ball number one. Ball number two, just give the wand a little wave, a little tap, and get ball number two. And you can do something a little bit different with these same props. Just put a little bit of magic onto the cup, and when the balls travels right through the cup. And that's for ball number two. For ball number three, just take the wand, give the wand a little wave, a little tap, and the ball appears right where it should, on top of the cup. So, now that we have the cups, now that we have the balls, we can begin the effect. Ball number one gets placed into my hand. The wand, push it through the hand, and that ball will disappear. Ball number two, I just place it in the hand, give the wand a little wave, a little tap, and that ball disappears. Ball number three, I won't even close my hand. I'll leave my hand open, and the ball vanishes instantly. And all three balls appear back under their cups. Now I'm going to make this a little bit easier as we go on. I'm going to get rid of one of the balls. I'll even get rid of one of the cups. That leaves us with just two balls and two cups. Cup number one. Cup number two. All I have to do is snap those balls change places. It's, it's a subtle thing, but here I'll make it a little bit easier to follow. Put two cups on one ball, blow, and both balls appear under the cups. <coughs> Tell you what, I'll make things a little bit easier. I'll get rid of one of the balls. I'll get rid of one of the cups. That leaves us with just one ball and one cup. I'll even get rid of the wand at this point. Just take the ball, put it in the hand, get a little blow. A little blow will disappear. And that ball disappears and reappears back under the cup. I can even take that ball, get rid of it completely, snap my fingers, and the ball comes back. Because it's a trick. That's how it's designed. But I tell you what, I will re-add these two cups with just the one ball. Now people are constantly accusing me of using uh, more than just three balls. They say I have a fourth ball. And actually they're right. It just happens to be a little bit bigger than the others. Uh, in fact, right there's a ball. Over here's a lemon, there's a tomato, and there's a lime. Yay.